Well, we are now at Mobile Diagnostics right here in Bengaluru at their lab. Now, this company focuses on molecular diagnostics. And they have a system now that actually can detect if a person is infected with the Nipah virus. Now, to speak to us more on that, we have with us the director, Mr. Chandrasekhar Nayar. Thank you for speaking to India today. But first of all, do tell us about this system. It's very interesting. And I'm also told that you're the only company in India which is actually dealing with this. So ours is a point of care molecular diagnostics platform. The TrueNet platform uh, is the only point of care uh, platform that is used in clinical testing for a wide range of diseases, including tuberculosis. Uh, most other systems tend to be very specific and can be used only for a specific use case. Mm -hmm. Ours is a pan-disease, pan-sample kind of system, which is battery-operated, that is field-usable. As you can see, it is very easy to carry the system around. Okay. The entire thing is in a carry case, and actually can take this case and have testing set up on demand wherever it is needed. Okay. I'm also told that uh, to utilize the system, one does not need to be... Well, a professional as such, it, uh, you just need very little training. Yes, absolutely. So this system has been designed, conceptualized, prototyped, taken to manufacture and taken to international markets by us. And our team here is a completely indigenous product patented worldwide. And it has been designed for minimal training. So people with minimal training can start using the system. Maybe within a day's training, you are now ready to go and run a molecular diagnostics uh, platform at point of care. So sometime, sometime back, a boy passed away in uh, Kerala. He was diagnosed uh, that he was infected with the Nipah virus. Was your system utilized over there? So our system has just got CDSO, CO uh, emergency use authorization yesterday. And uh, we have already started our manufacturing and we are ready to deploy these systems on demand for screening for Nipah. So how exactly the system works, it's very simple. In fact, I'm told that within an hour, they will be able to know if the person is infected, not just with Nipah, but about, what, 28 or 29 yes. other viruses. Now, we have with us the team lead, Ajit, over here. Ajit, could you just very briefly explain to us what we are seeing over here and how exactly it works? So we have the extraction system and the PCR system. The sample will be collected in a buffer, and that will be transferred into the cartridge. And this cartridge goes to, into the system. And within about uh, 20 minutes, the elute will be ready okay. for loading into the PCR system. Okay. So the elute will be collected from here and loaded onto this chip. And the results will be available in around 35 to 40 minutes. So apart from Nipah, what all can you actually uh, diagnose using this system? So the system is utilized currently for COVID-19, MTB, HCV, and other uh, infectious diseases. Thank you. So basically, within an hour, they'll be able to actually find out. Mr. Nair, one last question. Um, has the government actually now placed an order, not just uh, the government of India, but state governments as well? So the government is using our platform exclusively for, the, uh, for tuberculosis testing and for COVID testing, also now for hepatitis testing. Ours is the only platform in the world that is a point-of-care platform that can be deployed, WHO approved, for TB testing. For NEPA, not yet. But uh, as a philosophy, we as a company would like to use our platform to create maximum impact and use it as and when emergency situations like this arise. So you're so. ready in case, say, the Karnataka government wants it urgently, you're ready to actually... Absolutely, yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. So very simple. In fact, we are told that at a point of time, four uh, tests can actually take place in this one. I think another two in this and one in another system. Very simple, very easy to use, and it's happening right here in Bengaluru. But video journalist Madhu R. Nolan Pinto for India Today.